the Galactic Free Press Update. Exciting time to be on planet Earth, Equal Heart. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. Greetings, love beings. January continues to bring us intense energies which are flowing through all levels of the vibrational frequencies on this planet and affecting everyone on many levels. These are the energies which were birthed on December 21st, 2012. These will continue in waves, bringing much change and transformation over the next two years and beyond as we move together into unity consciousness. These waves can be felt now by many who are open to them. Quoted from Pele, There is something that has pushed me to write this today, as I've seen and felt these waves at Java on the rock. There is rather a, a massive upswelling of energies today, this moment, right now. One aspect of this is a cleansing or clearing out of anything not grounded in the unity. Unity of all humanity. Unity of the galaxy. Unity of the cosmos. Anything still clinging to the duality mindset has nothing more to cling to. This upswelling energy is washing it away back to the ocean of one, a.k.a. the O of O. To my view, this is more of a washing away rather than a churning, churning up of all the stuff that needed to be washed away. That was already done. And although the washing away may not be visible to the general public, the waves are, just as the waves today. This upswelling is much more massive than anyone might believe. It is beyond belief, but beyond any belief system. It is here. Now, have fun riding these upswelling waves of now, end of quote. Quoted from Lauren C. Corgo, Happy New Year. So not only did we make it to 2013, a very sacred, powerful, wildly creative, alchemical, and transformative 13 year, but to a new golden age. Though it's hard to wrap my head around what that means for me, you, uh, us, just yet. A congratulations is definitely in order. The full-on celebrations have not quite begun. We still have some denser body integrating to do. But if you pay close attention, you can feel the party starting in your heart. Beginning with the winter solstice, each of us came online in an entirely new and unique way. This point of arrival is not the same for everyone, granted, but there is a similarity by which we will all be able to relate to. A shared connection, connection to what's true. A sense of heartfelt unity. The realization and actualization of uncompromised love. What next? Directly following 1221, we were given a glimpse into the new world that awaits us, and it was nothing short of miraculous. We have entered into unity and downloaded the first waves of cosmic love. Since that initial blast of love, a lot of human heaviness has been kicked up all around us. The difference now is that we will have a definite choice and ability to steer, steer clear of it all. These waves will come in succession and will wash over us, revealing new layers of awakening, of opening, each with a specific resonance and attunement. Right now the waters are still muddy, but they will soon run clear, and the Council assures us that as we enter into this exalted state of human divinity, revelations will be our new normal. We are clearly still in a holding pattern, and we will be for a bit longer as we make our physical transition. End of quote. On December 21st, we were successful as Mother Earth is now existing in 5D frequencies. So all frequencies and beings on this planet inevitably must vibrate to this frequency. 
This is indeed in process. This frequency is divine intelligence, or God consciousness, which is the unified field of oneness energy. Quoted from Elizabeth Ars. Beloved ones, we wish to welcome you into your new world now, that you had a week or two to fill out the new energies. While it still may not be apparent to many people that anything happened during the shift, we can assure you that much has indeed happened. As was witnessed by some who are presently embodied on the planet among you, the very structure that previously supported the third dimension has been removed. Your world and everything upon it has moved up into the fourth dimension, and we will now move gradually into the fifth dimension. As more people begin to feel the heart-based feminine energies that are now available to everyone, the work done by the light workers on the planet has been extraordinary. Your devotion to the cause, exemplary. Now the entire universe will benefit from your work, as well as that portion of the Earth's population who are yet unawake, but whose higher selves wish them to also ascend. We thank you for your astonishing generosity of spirit, beloved ones of the collective of humanity. Seasoned lightworkers are being situated to offer assistance if needed, along the way to fifth dimensional living. And you may call on us, Father, Mother, God, the Archangels, the Angels and the Ascended Masters, as well as upon your galactic brethren for assistance. For now, this assistance will be mostly on an energetic level, but in time, when more of your population are feeling better adjusted, our assistance will become more physically apparent. Particular dates and predictions will not be given out, as that only leads to expectations and disappointments. We are quite pleased by what has taken place on this earth. From the darkest, most dense planet of the third dimension, she has literally been transformed. And she will, again, take her rightful place as one of the most beautiful planets existing within this universe. We hope that many of you will choose to linger upon her as she is raised up in vibration and becomes as bright as a star. There will come a time when you'll be able to review much of what has transpired here, to see and even experience some of your currently suppressed history, that which has been untold or buried by your erstwhile controllers. Much will be revealed. Much will astonish you. You have worked hard, and the way will become easier as you move into the new earth energies. Be open to what comes. End of quote. A lot is now moving as a result of some intense lightworkers' successes over the past 30 days. According to reports coming in, we had at least 22 million love beings on this planet participate in the peace and love meditations which were occurring in groups large and small on December 21st and 22nd. We were able to successfully birth the new paradigm into existence which has created a conscious wave of energy which is bathing this planet now in ever increasing ways. The golden age is here. This will become increasingly apparent for those existing in the 5D frequencies on this planet. Quoted from Shante Gabriel, Millions of lightworkers, peace seekers, and unseen beings of light accomplish the task of bringing the earth into the fifth dimensional frequencies we all aspire to. Our purpose was clear. Our hearts were willing and conservative estimates place the number of people participating in some form of light-centered, peace-oriented event on the December solstice at 22 million. I know there were those who brought multitudes to their auspicious gatherings, such as Barbara Marks Hubbard, bless her heart, 
I also believe that the number estimated did not begin to count the many more, like me, who enjoyed our small, private, and very precious events, offering prayers for the planet and powerful intentions for that auspicious day of December 21st, 2012. I found the days leading up to the solstice to be personally transformational. Throughout 2012, there were profound connections with many people who joined me for major teleconference events as well as my classes. With a nod to the Maharishi effect, stating that the number of people necessary to shift consciousness is only the square root of 1% of the population. I am convinced we made solid inroads for a profound, if not spontaneous, spontaneous worldwide evolution of consciousness. Here's more from Archangel Gabriel in a recent transmission. Clarity will abound in this new shifting time as Earth comes into alignment with an inspired frequency that empowers new growth and harmony within all people. We are also rejoicing in these realms of spirit for the shifting alignment within your beings. For you are forerunners for humanity in these new times. As all begin to act more clearly in their choices for new life, the earth will thrive. We who support your spiritual growth remind you that there has been a new opening for many who have worked long and hard to bring their soul's light to the planet and bring fruition to their higher purpose. Reigning supreme in all the shifting awareness is a new empowerment from the divine for a balanced state of harmony between the masculine-feminine aspects on earth. This is causing a tremendous upheaval in minds and bodies who are not prepared for this new life. Those who have prepared are experiencing a sense of buds opening, rockets launching, and minds scrambling to absorb and integrate these new frequencies into their lives, as well as putting a meaning to their experiences. Make no mistake, this does not bring immediate peace into the earthly existence. The upheaval will continue because so many have confused happiness with certain outward appearances that are no longer possible. Remaining on the earth is an option that many will choose to relinquish. End of quote. Love is in the air on this planet, and the ones who are awake are indeed experiencing these new earth energies. They are having increased synchronistic events, increased love in their connections with themselves and others, expanded heart chakras, increased joy and laughter. Quoted from Zen Gardner, Spirit is certainly doing its part to capture and keep our attention during these halcyon days. Synchronicities are popping up in everyday life like Red and Bakker's popcorn, something we thought or said materializes within minutes. Time seems to have developed some rather unique qualities of late. And have you noticed the spreading epidemic of smiles everywhere you go? Those are the kinds of things to give our focus and energy to. Humanity is awakening from spiritual slumber as the procession of the equinoxes has brought the Kali Yuga to an end. The powers that were know we are waking up and they are doing anything they can think of to get us to just hit that snooze button and drift back to sleep. But we won't choose to do that because we don't want to be late for our graduation. It's time to put away childish things and accept the responsibilities which accompany spiritual maturity. It's time for new cycles and patterns to begin. Time for consciousness to evolve to the next level. There is no going back now. It is time to stop denying our own power and start building a new planet. There is so much promise in the air. As the gates of Aquarius open wider with each passing day, our DNA is waking up right along with our cellular and genetic memory, which means don't be alarmed if your dreams are wilder and weirder than normal. That's just you remembering the story of your soul. 
I sometimes wonder what the Mayans would have written about these times had they not succumbed to us unsustainable growth and Spanish conquistadors. I know one thing for sure, and that is if the Mayan culture had survived to see 2012, the party they threw would still be going strong. They understood that this time in humanity's initiation into higher realms, and that we would be coming to, into our own power, on the road to becoming an enlightened species. What might the Mayans have had to say about those of us who would be here to usher in this new golden age? Think about it for a minute. In a cycle lasting some 26,000 years, what are the odds that you and I got to even be here to see it go down? Out of all the people who have ever lived, we are here together to forge a new dream and a better world. You think that's just by mistake? Well, who ain't ready for this? End of quote. We are in transformation and transfiguration, everyone. If you are aware and flowing in the oneness energies, you are in for a ride. We have shared there are no seatbelts. Many of you are now able to feel this truth in your hearts. This natural step in evolution is upon humanity, the path from fear to love. All frequencies will align with the unified field. How long this takes and what this looks like, we will have to see. However, this is inevitable. This is indeed an exciting time to be on planet Earth, Equal Heart. Quoted from Wes Anik. When I look at each facet of my life, I feel that I'm truly establishing a foundation of happiness, as well as one of the assistance I likely wish to offer when making my way to this Earth at this time. I truly feel that things are wonderful and that they are only to get better from here. The increased connection to the supreme data bank of oneness energy, which has seen me incredibly connected with Source when I make the effort to be, has been just one out of the many amazing things that I continue to feel and that continue to validate for me that I personally am on the right track and that I should not be so worried that there is, in any moment, something I can do to feel and validate the wholeness I've already unlocked. The words of Matsu Suhu have rung in my head for days. You're already there, then there's nowhere to go. Your cup's already full, then it's bound to overflow. Those lyrics mean a lot to me and seem pertinent to where I am at currently along my growth as I, as well as many others, am realizing that our lives are already wonderful and the happiness we can experience already bountiful. Yet we have been searching and searching for what we can find within very easily, and thus we have fallen out of balance and are already full cup that we could have realized was full all along, and overflows because of the weight of our constant outward energy, giving no acknowledgement of the fact that everything we need is already within us. This amazing and important revelation is coming on the back of continual upgrades as well as that aforementioned tidal wave of cleansing and reworking energy that is turning things upside down at present. I have felt this continual rush of energy within me and I can feel the rewiring taking place. And it is important for us now to realize that our heaven has already arrived and that our recognition of that is crucial. It truly is, and I cannot express enough how strongly I have felt this in the past few days. Even while we experience difficulty, heaven is right here and right now. We can begin creating upon it, and many have been, but honestly, the most important thing at present is to realize it and to realize it's here. I could not be more pumped up with Source Energy as I write this, as I continue to experience a wonderful fulfillment that I want all of you to be able to feel for truly it is how we are meant to live. Wes Anik, recharged and ready to embrace this miracle of a life. End of quote. 
in the next 30 days, many higher selves are going to be completely stepping into their roles for the new Earth Equal Heart to prepare the planet for a planet-wide awakening as well as the co-creation of the new Earth. We have just begun the real work and everyone has a part. This requires full participation. This has been a long moment coming. Decreed by heaven, within the next 30 days, the awakened human angels will step forward on planet Earth Equal Heart, assuming their roles in the new story, a love story about us all, true living life and unity. This is a divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth Equal Heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission in all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, humanity's Earth allies, the company of heaven, and the first contact ground crew team. <laughs>